Hi, this is DarkFox27, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Uh, today, I am going to be doing creating your own race. Now, it's going to be a pretty basic tutorial because um, I haven't messed around with it enough myself. But um, we are just going to sort of go along the guidelines that we receive from the Creation Kit website. So, uh, to get started, you're going to go on to go under uh, Characters and Race, and then we're going to want to pick Breton. So, just double click into Breton. Um, we're going to make a red Breton. So apparently they have more blood than normal ones. Um, don't really know. Uh, want that at the beginning actually. So we're going to go with red. So you just want to change the ID, and then you'll see uh, you see all this nice window, so you can change all these wonderful options. And the main thing that will sort of be appealing to everyone is the uh, the skill bonuses. Uh, so you can choose how much uh, bonus you get on each skill, which ones, and you can have up to seven by the looks of that. So we're just going to add another one, um, just random one. Oh, we've already got alchemy. We'll just go. With, oh, we've already got alteration as well. We'll go with block. There we go. So we'll just add five block get this wire out of the way there we go right um yeah, you can also see the uh, specials so um like if you were a Khajiit then you get night eye uh, we'll put the health up to 100 and you can fiddle with the rest so you can sort of uh, change how much crane weight you can start with to give you that extra bit of boost for the start of the game because you're carrying so much stuff with nowhere to put it uh, size, I think that's to do with like uh, the Wood Elves and the High Elves, uh, I'm not quite sure, but you can mess with that yourselves, I'm not going to uh, mess with too much of this. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click OK first, and we're going to click Yes to create a new form. Uh, so just refind your created race, double click on it, and then continue on from there. Now we need to do that. Um, you need to go into Morph and Armor race. Uh, basically this makes available these specific sort of hairstyles for your race so you might not be editing a Breton, you might be editing a High Elf so you just have to match this up to what you've sort of um, used as a template if you will. So I'm going to be looking for Breton race. Sometimes this can be really glitchy and it might do it now and you won't actually have certain things appear like the hairstyles but hopefully you won't have that problem. Uh, you're just going to have to work around it and try and mess around and get the uh, sort of morph race that works for you. A uh, load of options here, really don't need to, to mess with most of these and you're probably best not to. Uh, so we're going to move on to body data now. Uh, basically I wouldn't recommend changing the height, uh, higher or lower, because they tend to shrink into objects, which I've had uh, with one of my mods, which needs an update. Uh, I've got a, a merchant who seems to go up against a lean wall marker, and he shrinks into it because he's too big. So it looks kind of funny. Um, the rest of this really you can leave. That, that's all I was going to note on that. Uh, the weight usually okay to change if you want a bit of a, a beefy sort of race. Uh, going into blood, uh, I think you can change all the settings for the, the colour of your blood, but you're going to have to find the right stuff, play around with it, test it in game, see what happens. Uh, text date is the, the next important thing. You want to actually change the name, obviously, or you're going to have two races named by the same thing. And then you can change the de uh, description around a bit, so everywhere it says Breton, I'm just going to put red. And we'll put... They have more health. There we go. Uh, you can do your whole own description, your own backstory for your races. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, another thing, if you just want to preview your race, uh, if you get anything like that for the spelling, just ignore it. Best thing to do with this kit when you get warnings, ignore them. So, uh, there you go. You can see our, our bloke's nice and half naked in front of us. Uh, could at least put some basic clothes on him, couldn't they? But uh, we'll, we'll go into uh, some more options and tabs. You can probably skip all the tabs up to face data. Uh, if you know how to do meshing and textures and all that and put your own stuff in for like faces and everything then you probably wouldn't even need to watch this tutorial. So like I said this is just going to be pretty basic. Uh, if we go to head here like I said it's glitched on me again. I've been having a lot of glitches with this. I think I need a reinstallation of the kit but you shouldn't have that glitch hopefully but if you do just go and pick some more morphing races and see what hairstyles become available for you guy and test them out on him. And the way you do that, you just go in here and start changing things, and it should adjust if you click Head Preview. You should see things change. Uh, the other thing I'm actually going to show you how to do is create your own hair colour, because um, back in Oblivion we used to give them like crazy hairstyles, like purple and blue and anything we want. We can do that uh, through the Creation Kit. 
So the way that you're going to have to do that is you're going to have to go into miscellaneous and colour form. Right click new and then we're just going to make a, a crazy red hairstyle and we're going to click playable otherwise it won't appear I don't think and we'll just go with some dodgy red hair there we go uh, you can make that more specific and perfect it when you do your own uh, we've made the colour now but we have to add it into the uh, the form list so if you click on the form list and then go under hair go into your list click back into colour form and you can see our red hairs there drag and drop it in click OK go back to your available hair colour in here and you're going to have to right click and new to make it available red hair select it OK and it will appear in the list and then you can just go and check it through here and you'll see our guy's got ridiculous red hair and that will do for us now uh, the other thing that you can do you can get rid of available hair colours so if he's a red breton and he has to have red hair then we could delete all of these and you'd only have red hair available in the game so I'm just going to do that just to show how the options change Uh, also, I think the uh, the morph here, this is basically you can add uh, lips and noses and other sort of uh, face features from other races into yours. Uh, you'd have to do some research into which ones you'd be sort of putting across yourself. So, lots of stuff to mess with, but this is actually fairly simple once you get into the menu. Um, Tintin, this is all face paints and scars and stuff like that, so you can play around with that and you just click on them and choose your own textures if you want you can go into different sort of options like the color of it and change the color and it's pretty pretty simple stuff really uh, the other thing to note here is preset NPCs so this is obviously uh, the selection of basic standard faces that you can select from and then edit from there uh, so the way that you do this you actually create an entire new actor so if you go into actors and type preset you'll get all these here and you'll see the 10 Breton ones that we have in here and you'll have a male and a female so you'd have to do um, presets for both and then you just basically drag and drop your actor in with the uh, the face that you want to set as a default and to really it's as simple as that uh, we're pretty much done now so you go ahead and click OK and then you can basically come save your mod and then we'll nip in game and check out and see how we've done okay so here we are we're in game and the way that you can test your uh, your new race nice and quickly is going to the command and oh, what is it show race menu and then we'll be able to just nip into there and if we go through we should have our red breton there he is so we've got our standard red breton pick the race change the set oh that's interesting well that is certainly different uh, we've got something set wrong there but uh, like I said, kit is very glitchy, you'll have to really put up with it. But there we go, we've got presets. If you were to add your own preset into there, that'd appear. Uh, you've got your own skin tones. And if we just go to our hair, which we selected, we should only have... Um, the colour should only be red. But again, a bit of a glitch. There we go, our red is there. Once you change it to red, you can't select any more. That's a bit too red, but uh, you can see basically what you can do with this and what kind of settings you can say. There we go, we've got a red beard as well. That's fantastic. Looks like the uh, the hair has actually worked, even though it didn't appear in the list, so uh, that's, that's a damn good sign. Now you just have to mess around with it until things work and make sure that your head is not that red. So uh, I hope you found the tutorial useful. I know it was a bit basic, but it's the only thing up on YouTube, I think, for races. And it gets you started. And you can probably figure the rest out yourself. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please visit all my websites and stuff. Just check out the description. And I will speak to you next time, guys.